2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi everyone, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. It's the Chicago Bulls taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves. And the Bulls start out with the ball. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Rodman is out there with Pippen. Then it's Longley. Then it's Jordan. And it's Harper in at the point guard position. Now the Timberwolves with it. Here's Hassel. Pass to Sprewell for three. And it's Jordan with the rebound. Gazelle against Harper. That shot off. Here's Sprewell. Got a piece of it. Pippen with it. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Yep, it counts. Pippen's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Bulls. Yeah, Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. And Garnett misses. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. Passes it to Pippen. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Pippen simply put one of the best small forwards of all time. A defensive powerhouse and a fearless score. Bulls shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. Free throw good from Pippen. And both free throws good for Pippen. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Cassell against Harper. Knocks it loose. In transition, here come the Bulls. It's rebounded by Kevin Garnett. Pass to Cassell. Throws it up high. And so it looks like the Timberwolves will retain possession here. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Sprewell, the pass to Garnett. And Pippen is a rugged defender, has tremendous length, and that helps him cover a lot of ground. And, and he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Sprewell. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Rodman. Well, conversions have been a problem. 0 for 4. Left side, Jordan. Minnesota with the rebound. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Sprewell. Nice D from Pippen. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Jordan can't get it to go. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. 
Now the pass to Sprewell. Over Jordan. And it's Sprewell missing. Credit the defense right there. They have not allowed this guy to get going at all in this period. Harper the pass to Longley. First shot, first pass. He's out the blocks fast. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Timberwolves trail by eight. And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Gazelle, the pass to Garnett. And they double up Garnett. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. First make of the day should finally give them a little confidence. It's usually interesting. After a bit of a struggle, does the first bucket get you into a little rhythm now? Here's Hassel. He's still scoreless so far in this one. To the wing right side. Pass to Garnett. The tray. The rebound by Pippen. Right now trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Garnett with the block. KG has always had tremendous instincts, sends another one back the way it came. Five to shoot. Knocked away. Down low. And it's three well missing. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Timberwolves trail by six. Passes it to Cassell. Plays it up and banks it in. And that's right where they wanted to go with the ball in rhythm. And here's Pippen. Pass to Harp. And here's Longley. Now Pippen. Outside Harper. Driving inside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And I enjoy watching Harper as he, he fends off the contact. Awesome at just finding those little cracks in the defense and exploiting them. Here's Cassell. His second shot goes in, off to a good start, two for two. Well, everyone's seeking those high percentage looks in the restricted area. Nicely done there. There's the pass to Rodman. Outside Pippen. Jordan, high post, clock at four. Here's Harper, and they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch, and that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Bulls making a switch here. Wennington's checked in. Timberwolves trail by four. Here's Cassell. Rodman grabs the miss. Rodman's got six rebounds here tonight. It's Pippen with a drive. Minnesota with the rebound. Garnett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Hassel. Rebounded by Wennington. The Bulls leading by four. Outside Harper. With the drive. Score of the basket is third after five shots. Harper's gone three for five from the field. Here's Cassell. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's his first trip to the line.
two shots. That's good from Cassell. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Chicago. Kerr comes in for Harper. And so Cassell nails both of them. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Now here's Kukoc. Outside Jordan. Now Kerr. Six on the shot clock. Steps back and fires. And out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. Here's Hoiberg. Pass to Cassell. Over Kerr. Cassell, no good. Chicago leading by four. Here's Jordan into the lane. Michael and slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, the explosive doesn't even begin to describe it. Jordan simply flying. Minnesota calls timeout. So it's the Timberwolves now. Here's Cassell. He has six. Passes to Serviak. to Manson, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Bulls will take it. Here's Chicago. Six-point lead. Who coach with it? Still looking for his first bucket in this one. They anticipated the play and got there first. Here's Cassell. And the pass to Zerbiak. Here's Hoiberg. The Timberwolves working the ball around them. Cassell gets the bucket. Cassell's got eight points. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Here's Rodman, and then Rodman with the dunk. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Here's Hoiberg over Jordan. Tips it. It's good on the putback. How about the anticipation and the timing there? He is all over it. The Bulls leading by four. And here is Jordan. Pass to Kerr. Left side, Jordan. And he banks in the lane. Jordan's got his second basket. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contest. Here's Cassell. Eight points for him. Another field goal for him. Four for six shooting tonight. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. And they double up Jordan. Kicks to Kirk. This is it to Cooper. Five on the clock. The three. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Hoiberg. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That one good for two. 
Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Outside, Rodman. Here's Kukoc. They grabbed their own miss. Great positioning on the putback. And, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Pass to Zerbiak. Trent, up top. The pass to Manson. That one's not going to go. Rodman with the defensive effort. Pass to Kerr. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Tony and it's a nine-point Bulls lead. Yeah, and what you love about Kukoc, the, the versatility on offense and, and the terrific court vision. Pass to Zerbiak. It's Trent on the wing. Misses off the left iron. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin particularly here to start the game. He gets it in there. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Here's Cassell following the basket by Michael Jordan. Pass to Hoiberg. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. The Bulls leading by nine. Now here's Jordan. He's got six. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. And so it's Chicago. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Here's Cassell. We've got Cassell, and it's Madsen in at the four. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Steve Kerr. He's gone two for two at the line so far. The first one falls. And so Cassell nails both of them. The Bulls leading by seven. A pass to Kerr. Back to Jordan. And they double up Jordan. Here's Kerr for three. That drops and it comes off an assist from Jordan. Jordan's got three assists now in this one. Gazelle against Kerr. Pass to Trent. And here is Serbia. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet.
Gazelle against Kirk. Snatched away. It's three on three on the fast break. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Kerr's got the lead up to 12 now for Chicago. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Bulls. And it's been about their defense. They're playing with a frenetic pace, putting a lot of pressure on the ball handlers and forcing turnovers. There's something else they've done right from the get-go tonight is run. So much of their offense coming on the fast break. It's a plus-five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. And it's blocked. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Here's Serbiak. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for Manson. Pippen's checked in for the Bulls. Gazelle against Kerr. Passes it to Zerbiak. The shot's good. Cassell making the play. Zerbiak got himself on the board with three there. Yeah, how about the range there from Zerbiak? Uh, he doesn't hesitate when pulling from outside. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA. The lead is what it is right now. I tell you, you can't get stops if you're unwilling to put in the work. Cassell against Kerr. Cassell, the pass to Hoiberg. Lock at six. Pass to Cassell. Over Kerr. Here's Garnett. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Garnett's got his first two points. Well, there's a reason this is the four-time NBA rebounding champion. KG to the offensive glass. Here's the lob to the hoop, and Pippen slams it in. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley-oop. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Here's Pippen going inside. Scotty Pippen, Pippen there driving hard inside, has the height and athleticism to consistently get it done in the paint. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. This is one of those nights. Mistake after mistake, a comedy of errors. So for the Bulls, Longley comes in for Simpkins. And it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Here's Pippen. He's got eight. Here's the pass to Bushman. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got six rebounds now in the game. Pass to Sprewell. He lobs it up, and it's slammed in by Garnett. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Uh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Now here's Pippen. There's the drive. The Bulls have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Shooting two. A free throw good from Pippen. Misses, so he splits the free throws. Timberwolves trail by 10. Here's Hassel. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Passes to Pippen. He kicks it to Harper. 
Minnesota with the rebound. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Outside Pippen. Shot from the wing. And it comes off the front of the rim. Minnesota with the ball. Trailing here by eight. Garnett the pass to Sprewell. Garnett in the post. He's guarded by Harper. And Garnett misses. And I'll tell you, they're going to need more from this guy if they're going to cut into this deficit. And it's Pippen with the jam. Kevin, he is tough to stop when he gets to the rim. Yeah, Greg, he can get up a few notches higher. Pass to Garnett. Over Kukoc. PG, that's good. Garnett's got six. Well, now we're speaking Kevin Garnett's language, one of the great mid-range shooting bigs in NBA history. Garnett against Kukoc. Just four to shoot. Here's Pippen. Johnson with the block. Here's Hoiberg, guarded by Pippen. Hessel from outside off the mark. Chicago leading by eight. Pippen, the pass to Hart. The shot comes out, so Minnesota will take it the other way. To the inside. Johnson. Good. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. And so here is Chicago. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Dennis Rodman, he's checked in for Chicago. Now Harper controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And those second chance points really become almost like bonus points when you can get them. To the middle, here's Garnett. Another shot. Made that one only his fourth of this game after firing ten times from the floor. Uh, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Here's Harper. He's got six. Tries it from 19. Kukoc can't get it to go. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Six-point game. Garnett trying to break loose. It's blocked. Outside Harper. Rebound Minnesota. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Now the feed to Garnett over Harper. Garnett with another miss. The Bulls leading by six. Outside, Kukoc. Outside, Pippen. Longley down low. Johnson on him. Longley with the bucket. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. Hope loose and out of bounds as the Timberwolves gain possession. Some changes for Chicago. Wennington is checked in for Longley. And it's Jordan in for Tony Kukoc. Timberwolves trail by eight. Here's Sprewell. Here's Garnett. Offensive rebound. Oh, you have to love that effort. Getting after the basketball, fighting for a possession. Pippen dishes to Rodman. Pippen, the pass to Rodman. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Kevin Garnett. 
And as a free throw shooter, Robin has his challenges. One of those guys who almost shoots a better percentage from the field. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Wow. What, did he have something in his eye on that shot? <laughs> Maybe. Madsen, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And he's good on the second. Greg, player movement is always a constant in the NBA, but with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Garnett, right side over Rodman and once again off the mark by Minnesota I'll tell you this has not been his game and he's making it worse with shot selection like that and the shot is good Harper's got the lead up to 13 now for the Bulls and so it's Minnesota with it Garnett right side over Rodman and they'll get another chance Madsen oh that's blocked Now here's Jordan. Defense right on him. And he drives in. Excellent D there from Garnett. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. And it's Sprewell missing. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm. And you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Here's Jordan. Makes good on the step-back jumper. Jordan. Jordan's got eight points. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. There's the steal. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. And it's Pippen missing. Timberwolves trail by 15. 139 left in the first half of basketball. The pass to Sprewell. Trying to end the drought. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Making the most of the screen, that's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick, no rotation. My goodness. Here's Jordan after the basket by Minnesota. Plays it up and banks it in. Jordan. Ten points for him. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You can see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. So it's Chicago now after the basket by Minnesota. And they double up Jordan. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And here are the Bulls now. Rocket two. Pippen misses. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing calm. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Harper with the ball. He's got eight. To the paint. And there's Jordan. Michael That's good on the assist by Harper. Jordan's got 12 points in the game. And what you like there, Jordan never looks like he's rushing. Makes quick, solid decisions. And so it's Chicago. Riding a 15-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been terrific in this game. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. 
And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Chicago came ready to play. They had great chemistry early on, both offensively and defensively, springing together an impressive eight to nothing run to jump on top early. At the end of one, they were already up nine. And it was nothing short of an offensive barrage as the second quarter wore on, as they were able to close out the half with a 15 to six run. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? Well, it comes down to confidence. From the opening tip, these guys had that swag. They had the attitude that you can't beat us, we can only beat ourselves. Shaq, what do you think about Minnesota? Well, they're not finding good shots, and that starts with their ball movement. Too much hero basketball. We need to sharpen up the attack. More motion, quick cuts, get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that time. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Timberwolves trail by 15. Taking a look at the Bulls, they've got Michael Jordan. Pippen is out there with Rodman. Then it's Longley, and it's Harper in at the point guard. Here's Cassell. Pass to Garnett. Here's Hassel. Six on the shot clock. Here's Cassell. That's tipped. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Chicago leading by 15. Outside Harper. Hey, yo, right here. Switch, 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 switch. Garnett grabs the board. Garnett's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Sprewell. That shot misses. And in Chicago the other way. Michael Jordan on the wing. He's guarded by Johnson. And here's Longley. Sinks that one from the post. Longley's got six. And that's what the pump fake's there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around. Cassell. And the layup is good. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Pippen kicks to Harper, passes it to Longley. Now here's Pippen. He's got 11. Harper, no good. Timberwolves trail by 15. Garnett outside. Here's Hassel. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shot clock at six. Looking to get it going. KG, that's good. Great game for him. Double, double down. Ten points and 12 rebounds. Outside Jordan. Pass to Pippen. Back to Jordan. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And the defining trade of the greatest of superstars. Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. First free throw is good. Steve Kerr's checked in for Ron Harper.
and so Jordan nails both of them. Timberwolves trail by 15. Here's Sprewell and the rejection by Pippen. And it's always been about the effort defensively for Pippen, known as a stopper and a fantastic shot blocker to boot. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Now the pass to Hassel. Six to shoot. Minnesota needs to get off a shot here. And it's pretty well missing. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area Dennis where they can't Buckner. afford to get lazy. Michael and for a power forward, he can sure get up. I mean, because of that leaping ability, it kind of offsets his height disadvantage. Here's Garnett after the Bulls pick up two. Here's Cassell. He's got 16. Chalk up two there. Sprewell's got six. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. I've been against Garnett. Pass to Jordan. It's good. 16 points for him. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Cassell following the basket by Michael Jordan. Here's Hassel guarded by Jordan. From deep three-point range, Cassell no good. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. They get it back. Yes, that goes in. Scotty and the Bulls lead by 19. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Here's Sprewell, guarded by Pippen. And they double up Garnett. Passes it to Sprewell. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. Pass to Cassell. Over Kerr. Cassell, no good. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Outside for Pippen. Johnson with the block. And here's the fast break. Here's Sprewell. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when timeout, they need timeout. it. And how Sweet, sweet a play it. was that? As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Minnesota calls timeout. We've seen Michael Jordan really having a great game. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. Both teams deciding to change it up. There's Hassel, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Here's Cassell. Inside, they could use a bucket. Johnson can't get it to go. The Bulls leading by 21, and there's the pass to Jordan. Back to Kerr. Outside, Rodman. Poked away. Here's Hassel. Pass to Cassell. To the paint, here's Johnson. The shot's good, Cassell making the play. Cassell's got five assists in the game. How about the assist coming off the deck? What a pretty bounce pass. Kerr, the pass to Rodman. Down low. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Yeah, easy call. 
All right, well, Dennis look at how the Butler. points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bulls. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. And the first one drops. So both teams changing it up here. He's off on the second. No luck. They battled on the glass but couldn't knock it down. Here's Hoiberg. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Bulls making a switch here. Longley's checked in. The Bulls leading by 20. Now Kukoc. Goes up on the block, and it's good for two. Kukoc has got five. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Out to the wing. And here is Serbia. Passes it to Hoiberg. Lock at six. Pass to Cassell. There's the three. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Longley's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Martin and two Madison. shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. No, I tell you what, he earned his money Tony on that Cooper. foul. Bulls have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight. Seven for ten. free throw no good good on the second free throw here's Hoiberg And the pass to Cassell. Here's Madsen. Rodman covering. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. The Timberwolves shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting two. He's off on the first. And no good on the second free throw. So he goes 0 for 2 there. Plus 8 in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. And the Timberwolves with possession here. And here is Serbia. Drives to the hoop. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Kukoc. No, I tell you what, he earned his money Mark on that foul. Madsen. The Timberwolves have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. Shooting two. Oh. 
He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. So it's Chicago now. To the middle, here's Rodman, and the jam by Dennis, Dennis Rodman. That pass was about the location, puts it perfectly into the hands of his teammate. Pass to Hoiber. Pass to Cassell. Pass to Manson. From deep. Good work defensively by Rodman. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments, and I'm their voice. Kevin? All right, David, thank you very much. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Kerr kicks to Kukoc. The pass to Jordan. From down in the low post, it goes. Jordan's got 20. That's their third straight make time off an assist. Out. Minnesota calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. Simpkins, he's checked in for Chicago. Harper comes in for Jordan. Cassell against Harper. Cassell, the pass to Hoiberg. Misses the wing J. Smooth sailing for Chicago. On the wing, Kukoc. To the inside. The kick out to Harper. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Kerr can't hit. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Good on the triple. Cassell's got five points now this quarter. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is cooking. Kerr, the pass to Kukoc. Tries it from nine. And it's Madsen with the rebound. Madsen's got rebound number five here tonight. 129 left in the third. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Dickey Simpkins. The Timberwolves have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Bushler's checked in for Chicago. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Now, here's Kerr. Guarded by Serbiak, kicks it to Harper. Pass to Kukoc. Just five on the clock. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Here's Simpkins, and it's off the back rim. No good. So it's Minnesota now. 
Here's Zerbiak. And that one drops for him. Zerbiak got his second bucket of the night. The Bulls leading by 22. Outside, Kukoc. Over Serbiak. And again, no good by Chicago. Kukoc has gone just two for eight from the field. Right there at 25%. And again, it's Minnesota. And this is the time they wanted to mount the rally and get back into it. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Cassell against Harper. Over Cassell. Harper, no good. Boy, again, so little defensive pressure. You have to convert that. Passes it to Cassell. Unloads. Misses. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. It's Chicago opening up a huge gap. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. As we get going in quarter number four. Johnson is out there with Garnett. Then it's Cassell, and it's Sprewell in at the three, the small forward. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Now here's Pippen. Back to Kerr. Over Serbiak. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. The dynamic rag between players and officials is always interesting. With some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case. And, and really, the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor. And maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. Fader on the way and too long on the shot. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. And guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> we have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Here's Serbiak. Pass to Cassell. Jacks up a three. Rebounded by Rodman. Rodman's got rebound number 15 here tonight. The pass to Pippen. Outside, Rodman. Pass to Harper. Rebound, Minnesota. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Sprewell, the pass to Garnett. No good that time. The Bulls leading by 22. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Here's Rodman. Minnesota with the rebound. Garnett's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Gazelle against Pippen. Garnett trying to get open as Johnson. Can't hit that one. Kukoc with the defensive effort. Pippen, the pass to Rodman. This is to Kukoc. The kick out to Harper. Passes to Kerr. Pippen for three. Buries it from three-point range. Pippen. Pippen's got five points now this quarter. 
Uh, the man has no heart, and, and that's poor defense for a team that has a long way to catch up. Well, credit the offense, though. If you're going to come with casual defensive effort, this team's responsibility is to take advantage, and they do. Back to Kerr. Makes no Steve mistake on the Kerr. open jump shot. And at the Tony offensive Kukos. end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Pass to Zerbiak. And there's the pass to Cassell. Johnson, nice persistence to tip it back up and in. Hard work and soft hands, guys. That's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Dennis and that one's good by Rodman. And Harper brings a lot of physicality to the table. Also solid at cutting the D apart with his passing. Johnson with the bounce pass. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Gazelle, the pass to Johnson. Rodman with the block. And the thing about Rodman, he, he's more of a position player defensively, but that time reaching up to swat it away. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Hassel's checked in. Shot clock at six. Here's Sprewell. Offensive rebound. Here's Garnett. And he uses the glass on the lane. Well, at his age, for Kevin Garnett, it's about the passion and toughness allowing him to be successful. Right side, Pippen. Kevin Garnett with the steal. The putback. Rodman with the rebound. He's lost it in this quarter, no doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. Here's Kukoc. Goes up and lays it. Tony Kukoc. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Sprewell, that's good. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Garnett against Kukoc. We've heard the calls for more diversity among head coaches, Greg. With the turnover this offseason came a lot of opportunity. And Kevin, that's really what it's all about, right? The league's values of diversity and inclusion have been really pushed to the forefront. And I think that's one reason why our game is so popular globally, because it is so inclusive. And here are the Bulls now after the miss from Kevin Garnett. Tony, Tony. Harper against Garnett. They get a hand on it, and it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Garnett. Jones checked in for Minnesota. Smith comes in for Cassell. Brown kicks to Brown. Four on the clock. Back to Brown. That's tipped. And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. Smith. Here's Garnett. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Garnett's got four points this quarter. Well, the prototypical modern-day power forward comes about as a result of KG paving the way. Brown with it. Pass to Burrell. Here's Wennington, covered by Smith. The jump hook. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Garnett outside. <laughs> Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. And the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, 
player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where What's we up? are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you could find if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. Kevin Garnett, no good on the free throw. Well, the league's most valuable player in 2004. What a career KG has had. Timberwolves trail by 21. To the left wing. Here's Cassell. Uses the glass to finish the way. Cassell's got nine points now in just the second half. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long out, way out. to go to get back into this one. Yeah, but this run started with tighter execution at both ends, and, and that'll need to be maintained for them to have a chance to take the lead. Chicago calls timeout. And, and looking to stop this run and get back on track. Really needs to settle his guys down right now and get them refocused. And now, let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, Dennis Rodman. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. I don't think anyone in this building saw this coming. I'm sure that of the players who these fans thought would beat them, his name was not at the top of the list. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Outside, Rodman. Inside. Here's Jordan. And again, no good by Chicago. Timberwolves trail by 17. Over to the left wing. Here's Serbiak. Rodman cover. Serbiak passes to Johnson. Puts one up from 19. That one doesn't go. So the Bulls will take it the other way. To the middle. Can they get it? And Pippen with the basket. The assist by Harper. Pippen's got 20 points. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. Pass to Cassell. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And what an alley-oop. Those two lead each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. A chance here to get a quick injury report. You guys, I had a moment to catch up with Minnesota's head athletic trainer. He confirms that it is a sprained ankle. And as you'd expect, it's very swollen and it's causing him a lot of discomfort. This is not how they wanted to begin the season. And it'll be interesting to see how much this hurts. Them. Kevin? Okay, Dave, thanks. Sounds like uh, he won't be out for too long. And the Timberwolves with possession here, following the miss by Michael Jordan. Outside Pippen. He dishes it to Rodman. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Garnett outside. Pass to Cassell. Tries again. In deep. Garnett drops it in. Garnett's got 12 points here in the second half. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Pops it up for Jordan, and the dunk by Jordan. And you know how that play's going to end. Jordan in the air, adjusting effortlessly. Here's Cassell. Here's Garnett. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. Rodman's got his 18th rebound here tonight all over the place. Harper against Cassell. Jordan kicks to Pippen. Rodman in the post. Guarded by Serbiak. Rodman shot is off. Timberwolves trail by 17. And here is Serbiak. Feeds it to Johnson. And it's blocked. Now here's Pippen, outside Harper. Now the pass to Jordan. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. 
You will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. Driving in, pass to Cassell. Timberwolves passing it around. Passes it to Garnett. Over Rodman. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. You know what, just a little fancy on that possession there. Just go up in rhythm. Pippen, the pass to Harper. Outside Jordan. Down low, deflects the pass. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Clock is at three. Here's Simpkins. And the shot falls short this time. And so Brown will bring it up for the Minnesota Timberwolves. Trailing by 17. Davis the pass to Manson. Brown feeling out a bit. To end the drought. He takes it up and lays it in. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Now, here's Brown. Pass to Burrell. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Bill Winnington. Minnesota with the ball. 15-point game. Outside, Davis lets the three fly and the basket by Serbia. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Now Brown. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.